I'm so glad you're here with me today. Do you feel the energies shifting a bit? I have. I have. I felt the reactions of other people around me. And I just can't figure out where that's coming from. But then I have to look within. And I'm having some turmoil as well. But just staying in a higher fre frequency, staying in love. Welcome to the Hourglass Transmissions here on Facebook Live, recorded on Facebook, as well as recorded on YouTube, the YouTube channel, the Hourglass Transmissions YouTube channel. Welcome. Good morning. Well, today... <laughs> it's synchronistic how things just fall together when you ask spirit for assistance. So today the theme is what are you willing to give up? What are you willing to give up? So that could be material things could be Things that you think you want rather than things that you think you need. It could be clearing out stuff in your house, decluttering. It could also be those thoughts and emotions you've been carrying around. Do you still need to carry those around? Is it serving you well to carry those around? So think about it. Think about it. And the song today is the sound of silence. Ooh. So when I heard that as the song, I thought, oh, going into meditation is like the sounds of silence. Sometimes you just go into meditation and you don't see anything, you don't sense anything, you don't hear anything, it's just silence. But then when you finish, you feel so calm. So there is some joy coming with that. So this song by Simon and Garfunkel, it's Hello Darkness, My Old Friend. I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping left me its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sounds of silence. Hmm. Doesn't that sound like meditation? It could also be journaling too as far as those messages that are coming through in journaling. Well, let us take a moment to clear the space. Feeling the vibration coming through here. Clearing the space around you. Once again, clearing the space around you. And then take a moment to connect. Feel your feet connecting to um. Feet planted on the floor and connecting. Okay. Let's do some heart resonance. Take a deep breath in and hold for the count of three. And exhale with a sigh. Take a deep breath in and hold for the count of three. 
and exhale with a sigh. Ah. One more time. Take a deep breath in and hold for the count of three and exhale with a sigh. And feel those thoughts and emotions coming to the forefront. Allow yourself to release them. Find a box, a receptacle box, and take those thoughts and emotions that are not serving you and allow yourself to dump them into this box, clearing it all out, dumping it into the box. And then find yourself taking that box, closing that box, covering up, so there isn't, you weren't drawn to taking any of those thoughts and emotions back. Put a lid on the box. Do you still have a lingering thought or emotion that needs to go in that box? It's okay. Send it on. Send it on. Lift the lid to the box and send it in. Now take that box, that imaginary box, and take it out to an incinerator or a barrel or fire pit or whatever works for you and put it in this fire pit and take a match, light the match and throw it into the fire pit and watch the flames of the box being ignited. Sit by this fire pit for a while and watch the flames dance. Watch the flames dance around. It becomes mesmerizing to watch these flames. It almost has a hypnotic appeal to it. As you sit and watch the flames, notice a stillness coming over you. Notice a clearing of the mind as you watch the flames. Notice the colors of the flames, the white, the orange, the yellow. Sometimes you might see a blue. Just watch how those flames dance, the colors dance and change. Just watch as that box disintegrates and all of those emotions and thoughts disintegrate as well. They are no longer yours. They are no longer yours to dwell on. Take another deep breath in and hold for the count of three and exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Sense that sound of silence. Sense that sound of silence. And see yourself 
connecting the energy of your heart. Going down, 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 down through your body, down through your legs. And following the roots that are growing under your soles of your feet down to Gaia. And connecting with Gaia. And those roots are going down, down, down. Grounding you into Mother Earth, into Gaia. And then sense the energy of the energies of Gaia coming up through those roots, all the way up through the soles of your feet, up through your legs, up through your body, to your heart. And feel that energy expanding in your heart to fill your entire body with the energy of Gaia from the tips of your toes to the tips of your hands to the crown, as well as to all your energy fields. Your heart expands this energy even further to fill the room you're in, to fill your house, your building, your car, filling your city, your state, your province, your country. Your continent. The northern hemisphere, the southern hemisphere. As well as the quantum field. Allow that calmness, that energy you're feeling, come into the hearts of all in the quantum field. Allowing all to have a moment of calm so they may take a breath and maybe release something that they've been carrying some thought and emotion that no longer serves them. The love, light, joy, peace, harmony. Love, light, joy, peace, harmony. Love, light, joy, peace, harmony. Now feel that expansion going up to the emerald grid and magnifying the energies down across the world, connecting with all on earth, sending the love, light, joy, peace, harmony, the love, light, joy, peace, harmony, the love, light, joy, peace, harmony, magnifying it a hundred times, expanding that energy up into the golden grid and sending that energy out out into the unknown, out to those that you may not even perceive to be out there, sending them the love, light, joy, peace, harmony, the love, light, joy, peace, harmony. It is beautiful. The silence, the sound of silence. Bask in it for a while. No mistake. The card today, again, is the Met Archangel Metatron Self Mastery Oracle Card Deck by Amanda Ellis. And the card today is... Go with the flow, Avalon. Doesn't that look wonderful? That's something I'd like to be doing right now. 
they think they have control, but they're in the flow. They're just making sure that they avoid the rocks, those bumps in the road. And this card was number 42, which is a six in numerology. Do you believe that life is a dangerous place where you are not equipped to survive, a place where unseen dangers lie behind everything? Or do you feel at peace with life, ready to allow Archangel Metatron to steer you where you need to be, flowing in your own way and power towards the next destination? The energy of the flow helps you to understand that to trust in spirit means you are given what you need for your journey. You are provided with a simple boat to sail down life's meandering ways. You do not need unnecessary burdens or luxuries. You will be given what you need at any one time so that you can travel light, unhindered by heavy pressures or possessions. You are provided with a simple oar to steer yourself. How do you see this? As something inadequate for your purpose or all that you actually need? For there are many unseen forces at work in the process of the flow. If you could see this, it would make it easier for you to adopt this stance. Yet it would make a mockery of flow, which is about trust and faith. You never set out down the river unprepared, and you are always supported by Archangel Metatron at every twist or turn. You are asked to really feel into the, this now. Ask yourself, who makes the water smooth, enabling safe passage through the wildest whirlpools and cascading waterfalls? Even when you reach the water's edge, you can see nothing of the horizon. Metatron is there to carry you and your boat safely to the next place along the way. If you would only flow and allow the spiritual realm to carry you, let go and surrender, you would be able to see the beauty all around you on every part of your journey forward. It is a journey without beginning or end, the path of eternal life that takes us through the incarnation into the next. And it is so much easier for body, mind, and soul if you let go and flow, a fluid state free of control, ego, or will that just allows life to unfold in its own pace, in its own time, and its own way. Everything is provided. Flow and you will see. And I said it was a number six. And the number six itself is about releasing your worries about material possessions or releasing your worries about the effectiveness of money or anything related to your mental world. Hmm. It all goes together. Well, let us see what spirit has to say about this. Take a moment and take another breath. Hmm. See yourself in that boat. See yourself flowing down that river. And notice similarities to your life's journey.
does it help for you to be rigid as you are going down this river? Or does it help to have flexibility to enable you to shift, shift your weight in the boat, shift your weight in using the oar, just to be able to have a more pleasurable ride. What can you do in your day-to-day -day life to help it become more pleasurable? How many of you walk through your house and look at things on your wall and each day you look at it in distaste? Why do you continue to allow this feeling to occur? Take a moment and remove whatever it is in your sight. Or if it is something that needs to be repaired, make plans to get it done that day or as soon as possible. If it is repair work that you need to have somebody else do, Make the plan to have somebody take care of it. Do not allow it to continue to bother you. You are in control. You deserve to have a living situation that brings you joy and happiness. It does not mean you have to go out and buy something or replace something. There are those that live very sparsely. But then in doing that, say only have a bed in the room a dresser in the room and not much else does not serve them well either. It is up to them to live the life that they deserve. Feel into it. If you have too much, you can feel it. It not only puts pressure on your heart, it may be putting pressure on your shoulders. Maybe it is time to take things away. There are many places that take donations that would accept what you have to offer. People say, well, I'm going to give that to my children. Mm. We say, your children may not want what you have to offer. It was your choice and not theirs. And that you giving that to them may burden them. Why would you want to pass your burden on to them? Think about it. Make a list of those things that no longer serve you that have just become clutter. Take one room at a time. 
take one room at a time. And hopefully you choose to take the room that causes you the most distress. Some would say, no, 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 start with a room to where you can see your accomplishments happening quickly. You've allowed this to go on and on and on. Thinking, oh, I can do that someday. Well, your time is running out. It is time to get in the flow. Ask with, mm, with any means you have to make contact with the spirit world and ask for their assistance. You may ask, should I take that away? And you may get the answer in your yet in your mind that says yes or no. But you have to trust these messages. Trust and have faith that these messages are coming to provide you with guidance, to provide you with peace and calm, and to improve your life flow. Yes, some people think, I have money in my pocket. I can spend it. There are many other things you can be spending your money on. There are many places in your town, in your city, in your state, in your country that provides assistance and services to those that are truly in need. Consider this when you are looking at buying something that after you buy it, you no longer receive the joy you thought you would. It is all about the joy. Happiness may be short-lived, but joy will stick with you longer. We challenge you. We challenge you to look at your living quarters, your property. How can you improve the flow? Look ahead. You're still in your boat. You even found that there were things in your boat you needed to discard because it was weighing you down. It was not causing the flow down the river to be optimum. Yes, it is beautiful. We love you. We're here to support you. Ask and we shall help. Be in the flow. Be in the love. Namaste. Thank you for joining today's Hourglass Transmissions.
We will be here next week. And again, follow us on Facebook and on YouTube. Have a great week. We love you. Namaste.